Hey guys, how's it going? The Silver Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, we're going to go over exactly how a distatainer lock works. What I'm going to do is go into much more detail on this in just a second. Please stay tuned. <laughs> What I have in front of you is a factory cutaway distatainer lock. What you may be more familiar with is a pen and tumbler lock which uses pens and shear lines to secure the lock. What this lock actually uses is a very different mechanism. It uses discs and a sidebar. How this lock is put together is it's going to have a front face plate which is going to hold this whole disc pack together. Inside the disc pack, you're going to have individual discs separated by washers. These washers are important because it's going to make it so that each disc can be operated independently so that the key will wear out less, the lock will open smoothly, and it's just going to make for a much better lock. What keeps the lock secured is going to be the sidebar you see going across here. This sidebar is coming into contact with the metal over here and it's going to make it so that the lock cannot turn independently and it's going to keep the lock in a locked position. How you get the lock opened up is you're going to need to have each disc rotate into a very specific location. You want all of your discs to rotate so that they're going to align under the sidebar where their true gate is. On each disc there is going to be a cutout which is going to be called its true gate. On some of the more expensive locks you're going to have a true gate and a shallower false gate. Once all of your true gates are aligned it is going to make a channel going across. The sidebar is going to fall right into that. It is no longer going to be coming into contact with the metal here. Nothing is going to obstruct the lock from turning over so you'll be able to turn your lock over and open it right up. When you take a look at the key here, you're going to see that it's going to have different cutouts which is going to allow the disc to only rotate to a certain amount. Once you insert the correct key, you're going to start to see that the discs are going to start to turn. As you can see right here and here, these deeper cutouts are going to be called the true gates which are going to need to all align going across to get your lock opened up. And then you're going to see some shallower ones which are going to be false gates which are put in there to make it so when you try to pick this lock open you are going to have a much tougher time. So once we get all of our true gates aligned, which you can see they're almost all aligned right now, the sidebar falls in. It is no longer in contact with this metal here. and You can turn your lock over and you can see that it is starting to open up. I'm going to demonstrate that for you one more time. So watch as these discs start to align. They're going to all start to align right under the sidebar. You're going to see the sidebar fall in. Let's do that one more time. You can see the sidebar starting to fall in. Now nothing is going to obstruct the lock from turning over. You're going to be able to open up your lock. And that is how a distatainer lock works. These locks are very cool locks and they can be quite secure. One thing that makes them very difficult to pick open is there are not very many commercially available tools that you can get to easily open these locks. Many of the ones you can buy do a very poor job. And on top of that, there is not a lot of information out there on these locks and there are only a handful of people who are truly gifted at picking them. These are some really cool locks to learn more about. And I'm very happy to share with you some very basic principles on just how these locks work. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and thank you so much for checking this out.